Hey guys, this is Ricardo back here on the Watch With Us channel and in for review this week we have the Blova Oceanographer Devil Diver. Now this watch was released earlier this year um, in January if I remember correctly and it's another reissue in the line of reissues that Bulova has been releasing for their classic Devil Diver watch. Now a little bit of history, these original, the original versions of this watch were released in the 1970s and Bulova started issuing reissues of this watch in 2018 with a limited edition run that they did with the company Analog Shift. Now, after that release in 2018 and 2019 for Basel World, they started releasing some more colorways of this watch. And in 2020, um, in some foreign markets, the brand went ahead and released smaller versions of the rear issues. In the previous versions, the watch came in at 44 millimeters, but last year in 2020, in some foreign markets, they released two 41 millimeter versions. And now in 2021, they're giving us this 41 millimeter version in orange. Now, if we jump into the specs on this watch, as I've stated, the watch is 41 millimeters. It has a lug to lug of 46 millimeters. The height on the watch is 14.55 millimeters. Of course, in terms of water resistance, water resistance is 200 millimeters of water resistance. And that's where it gets that Devil Diver 666 because that's 666 feet. Now, if you go to the case back, it's a simple case back. It has Bulova, the model number, the type of crystal, sapphire, and here on the back on the step on a sticker you have Japan Movement China Band. Now with that being said, the band itself, this watch comes in at a lug width of 19 millimeters. The strap, which has this cross weave pattern, tapers down to 19 millimeters here at the buckle. The case, as you can see, is mostly polished. In fact, for the most part, yeah, mostly polished right here on the sides, a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. Going back to the front of the dial, you have this beautiful orange dial, which really stands out. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this crown so you can see a little bit more of that dial. There you go. As you can see, the dial is this beautiful orange horsehair dial. Logo is below right there at 12. Now each one of these 3D indices is actually filled with loom. It's made of plastic and brass. You can see some of that depth right there. Here at three o'clock, we have a date window and a square magnifying piece of glass, which is located on top of this beautiful double dome sapphire crystal, which really distorts the dial. You have loom on your hands, of course on these indexes, as well as 
the triangle at 12. In terms of clicks, this is a 120 click bezel. Nice action. Bezel has two colorways. You have that orange color from zero to 15 and black from 15 back to zero. Now inside you have a non-hacking Myota movement, the 821D movement. And let's go into the watch itself. When you unscrew the crown, which is screwed down and signed Bulova. In your first position, once the crown pops out, you have hand winding. Second position, if you see here, you can change your date. And in your last position, as you can see, the seconds hand continues to move. You could actually change your time. Now let's jump into my thoughts and pricing on this Bulova Devil Diver. I've had the watch for, I'd say about two, three weeks. And I have to say, I've enjoyed the watch. However, there are definitely a few negatives that I want to get out of the way before I go over the positives of this watch. Now, in terms of negatives, I have to say one, um, of course, I wish that the movement was a hacking movement. Um, I think Bulova has access, and I'm pretty sure Bulova has access to some nice Myota hacking movements. And I think that would have been a nice upgrade um, to the movement here. I wouldn't have mind spending a few extra bucks just to get that hacking feature. Uh, second thing that I wished they had done with this watch is I wish the strap came in a standard size. So as you can remember, I stated it is a 19 millimeter lug width, which, you know, of course, isn't your standard size. So it definitely is something um, that I wished would have, uh, the brand would have done and it would have helped with some more options in terms of straps for the watch. Of course, there are 19 millimeter strap options out there, but they're not as readily available as your 20 millimeter option. And the last thing I wish the brand had done, and, and to really show you guys, have to kind of zoom in here to come in closer to the dial. I wish they had done the logo like the older 70s version. On the older 70s version, and I'll be more specific, there is none of that connecting metal work between the letters. So there's space in between the B, the U, the L, the O, the V, the A. And I think that simple decision to just create that separation would have really bumped up the watch in terms of just the quality. When you see this material between the letters, it definitely takes away from the overall, just, I mean, overall quality of the watch. I mean, it is not pleasing to the eyes when you see that, especially when the light hits it, because at certain points, the light hits those in between pieces of metal and they kind of reflect in a different luster than the other leathers and it really stands out. I think it would have been great had they just created these leather these letters like the original version. And now that I've kind of gotten my negatives off out of the way in terms of positives just overall 
One is that beautiful orange on this watch. Um, it's hard to describe this orange. You guys have to see it in person. It is in your face orange and it's a beautiful orange that in sunlight looks one kind of way. Um, in like the studio lighting I have, it kind of has this neon deep orange look to it. And it's just an amazing shade of orange and I really am happy that they decided to do that. Um, another thing I liked, you know me, I'm a sucker for dome sapphire. I think dome sapphire, especially on vintage reissue watches, is a must. I mean, that beautiful distortion you get from a dome sapphire crystal, it really adds to the depth, which, al which along with these 3D indexes, I mean, just overall, it really does wonders for the watch creates a lot of depth and really gives it that nice vintage vibe. And finally, in terms of positives, of course, I have to say the sizing. Um, I know a lot of people weren't happy with the 44 millimeter sizing that they did on the previous reissues. So seeing this now in a nice 41 millimeters, something that's very comfortable on the wrist. Speaking of rich, I'm gonna just pop this on my seven and a half inch wrist so you guys can see how it wears. You take the 41 millimeters with this nice short 46 millimeter lug to lug. And I mean, guys, I mean, tell me that doesn't wear perfect. That, that wears perfect. I mean, it couldn't wear better than that. But yeah, just overall, I mean, I have to say, I think they did a great job with this. Um, there are definitely some things that I think if the brand decides to do, will bump this up into another level and really make it a nice overall, almost a perfect watch. Um, that logo, the movement in size, inside, and of course the standard um, straps. I think if they do that, you have a a big winner. But um, I think there's still going to be people, even without those changes, that are still going to get buy into this watch, um, simply because of the positives I've mentioned. I mean that once again, just look at that orange, guys. Just look, look, look at that orange. It, I mean, it is in your face, orange. Um, but yeah. Final point, of course, in terms of pricing, this comes in at $750 from Bulova. So, I mean, that's a reasonable price for what you're getting here. And I think there are a lot of people who are gonna jump at the opportunity to pick up this watch if they haven't already picked it up. But that being said, that completes my review, guys. Uh, definitely, if you have any comments or questions, drop them down below, down, down there. Um, definitely give us a follow on Instagram, watch with us channel, and I will see you guys next week with the next review. But that's me signing off, and I hope you have a nice weekend, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Mm -hmm.